Hey everybody, this is Devin with Homeschool House Calls and it is great to see you. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I think it's going to be a great day. But anyway, so um, my inbox has been slammed with people asking questions about how to start homeschooling. Lots of mamas um, doing research right now. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and I know for some of y'all regulars, this will be a little bit old school. But for our new mamas, we want to have a little bit of, you know, we want to be helpful, right? And I love questions. I've never met a bad question. I, I don't even mind repeat questions. They don't bother me. Um, I just feel like if somebody repeats a question, I haven't answered it well enough yet. So I wanted to go over this and maybe for the next couple of weeks, we'll go over some old basics Um if there's some, maybe put, put a couple of new twists in there. So today we're going to talk about how to start homeschooling. I know that sounds very exciting. When you're new, it's probably a little scary, but that's okay. It doesn't have to, I don't want it to be overwhelming. It's okay when it's scary. It just means something's new. Doesn't mean it's actually scary. So I'm going to give you some really quick basics on where to find your stuff so that it doesn't seem so confusing. Okay, so your first step, anytime you want to start homeschooling, is to research your legal steps. Now, I'm located in the United States. In the United States, each state controls their education. So um, if you're not in the United States, if you're in Florida, and not Florida, <laughs> sorry, no, that's crazy. If you're in Canada, wrong area you know like florida is another state it actually is and it's like maybe an hour from where i live i live right over the border in alabama super close to florida it's it's fabulous you would love it there but um if you live in a different country you will have to research those laws too um some countries control their own laws um germany's like that um different countries it just kind of you know Anyway, so I always, this is, the, I mean, here, this is going to be your most important step because you need to know what you can and can't do. Um, in the United States, each state controls their education laws, which means each state controls their homeschool laws because in essential, at the very basis of it, homeschooling is an education option. Um, each one's different. You'll have some like... Um, Texas, which is super lax and you don't even really have to report anywhere, then you'll have other ones that are very regulated. So each state's different. I always send people to homeschoollegaldefense.org. You do not have to be a member to get basic homeschool information. They have other countries for international. They have a Canada site that you can um, go on there and you can get and jump over. I don't know exactly. I think it may be CA, um, homeschool legal, you know, homeschoollegaldefense.ca, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But you can find that here at this website. You can also find all your state laws, other country laws, and you will give you the gist of what you can and can't do. So I always say start there. Um, when you're there, some of the things you, it, not only will it tell you how to do it legally, but it'll also give you your compulsory, compulsory age law. So, um, like if you have littles, like in my state, you do not have to register a child in school until they're six, regardless. Children, most states, ch not every state, but in my state, kindergarten is not required. So if you were not going to go and put them in school until, let's say, six, they would just go into first grade. Um, each state's different, though. You can't just because it's at my state, your state may be different. So always go see your law and look at that. Also, some states will have requirements on curriculum. They may not tell you what curriculum to use, but they um, may have certain subjects or certain hours that you, you know, you just, there are things and homeschool legal defense will have a summary that will give you all those highlights. Um, your second thing you're going to look for is curriculum. This is usually the first question people start asking me about because they don't realize that you need to go back to number one. Always start with researching your legal steps. That's a more important than curriculum or anything else. Everything else, once you get that first step handled 
everything else, you can take a deep breath and take time with everything else. You don't have to be in a rush. And especially this is summer, you know, you don't have to rush in the summer. So look at the curriculum. So when you're looking at curriculum, there's a couple of questions you can ask yourself to narrow this down. Now, in the in the groups and on the YouTube channel, we are going to go over this this summer. My my boot camp that's coming up will be on my top picks for curriculum. We're going to have 14 days of going over each grade, each stage. And what I love about that age, because, you know, I have kids who have homeschooled all the way through. I have five and the oldest will be 21 in July and he homeschooled from the beginning. So I have had my top, we're going to talk about my top picks. We'll look at new stuff, old stuff, secular, um, faith based online, offline, it'll be, it'll cover all the things, but that'll be a little bit later in the summer. But to narrow your search, you're going to narrow your search. So you're going to ask yourself, let's see, ask yourself two questions. Do you want faith-based or secular? Because that's going to, when, you, when you're looking and you're, you're researching something, like when I was a kid, menus would like completely freak me out. It's like the short time span and you're looking at this big book of trying to pick something out. And so not really when I was a kid, when I was a teen. So my mom taught me to narrow down. So, you know, she'd say, Devin, you don't like this over here. So don't look at that part. You don't like this part over here. Don't look at that part. So first decide, what do you want? If you want faith based, then you're going to go. You only have this over here to look at. You don't have to look at this. See, so narrow it down. And then after you ask your that that question, then you'll say, do I want online or offline? that's going to narrow it more. So then you have this smaller section and you don't pay attention to everything else. So those are some really, those are my two things that I always tell people, ask yourself faith-based or secular or online or offline. Now, once you get, get kind of get through that part, because that's one of your big questions and really there's no right or wrong answer on what you pick. And you, if you don't like what you pick, you can change it later in the year. Don't don't stress out over that. Legal, stress out a little bit. You want to make sure you're doing everything right. But curriculum is not something to stress out. My third thing to tell you to do is to build your tribe. Now, a lot of times when people start homeschooling, they're worried about their kids having friends. Mama, you need it more because that is how you're going to stay level and walk your journey. You can... It is important for your kids to find friends. That is important, but you need them too. So uh, you, you need your support group. So that is going to be your third thing you're going to do. Look for a veteran homeschooler to be your mentor. Find a consultant. Yes, some are paid, some are free. I do free and paid stuff. I'm always here. I'm for you. Find a group to talk to, especially one that meets in person. You need to see people in real life. You need to have time. I want um, social media. I mean, there's some really great groups out there and you can make friends, but look for your local Facebook groups where you can actually begin to meet people in person because some of these Facebook groups for homeschooling are so huge. You may or may not find actual friends. You can get great advice. There's nothing wrong with their advice. I always say, take legal in with a grain of even mine take legal advice i'm not a lawyer with a grain of salt that's why i send y'all back to homeschool legal defense because they are lawyers i am not i'm not going to take that take that hit you know i want you to find that make sure you have the right information but talk to your local mamas because especially your veteran local mamas because they've seen it all and they can kind of tell you what they've seen so you can take the homeschool legal defense stuff. You can take the veteran mama stuff and you've got to see how it fits. Um, if you're like in my state, there's a little bit of volatile conversation. We had a new, it's newer, it's not new anymore, law added and it caused a lot of volatile stuff. And still there's groups that do not give correct information. That's on them, not me. So, you know, go to the lawyers. You don't have to pay them to get the information. So, you know. But find you a veteran homeschool mom, find a consultant. They are worth the money. Not just me, any consultant out there, they're worth the money to help you find the things you need. And they can help you help you narrow whatever you're looking at. Find a group to talk to, especially your Facebook local group, so that you can get to some real in 
day meetings. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there now. When I started a, over 18 years ago, there was nothing. Very little curriculum, very little um, uh, blogs were new. Um, social media was new. It was non-existent when I started. You have a lot of resources and I want you to enjoy them. But anyway, drop your notes below. Let me know what you need and what you want to hear. Next week, maybe we'll talk about de-schooling a little bit because that's a term that you'll hear a lot out there that people will tell you about de-schooling. We can cover whatever subject you want. I just wanted to give you all just a bit of how to start and we'll go more in detail over the summer on Tuesday mornings. But let me know what you want to hear and then we can fine tune it because, you know, it's all about you. I want you to be happy and successful. You're important. And we will see you soon. Bye, guys.